Today I'm going to work on the intake cylinder that will stack right on top of this guy. Um, again, like I've been doing this whole project, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Don't have a plan exactly, but right now my goal is to take two of these strips of HDPE and try to join them together. And this was one of my original ideas. I just had a hard time wrangling that giant cone shape, but I think it'll be a little bit easier because I'm working with straight strips here. So what I've done is I've taken one of my panel clamps and I couldn't use the the bolt that was uh, welded to the clamp because there's a shoulder on the bolt and it goes it interferes with the bolt being cranked down. So I just took a clamp, clamped it down on this end, and then I cranked it down on this end. And I'm exerting the maximum amount of pressure I can get out of this clamp onto just a, basically just a small half inch overlap section here. I'm only going to be working on this edge right here. I'm going to use a heat gun, um, blowtorch, whatever method necessary to try to fuse these two layers together and make it one one piece that doesn't have a sharp edge here to, for dust to get cut on. So we're going to give that a shot right now. An interesting phenomenon with this stuff is that when it gets hot it wants to shrink and so it's actually making it thicker but I think once I get the heat to the right level and I think if I heat the metal more than the plastic it should help fuse it together better. See that, that that end has become translucent. It's actually starting to crush down. I need to flip it over and get the other side now. See that's clamped there. So hopefully that is good enough and I'll let it cool off slowly and then I'll bring you guys back in and show you if it worked or not. Alright, I'm going to take this apart and see what we got. It's pretty good. Um, as far as I can tell, it has formed the seal all the way across. If you can see that, let me check my monitor here. Yeah, you can. It's gonna bend weird at this seam, I'm afraid, and I may do some more work on it to try to help reinforce it because I'm afraid right there. See how it kind of. It's not going to want to sew like this part right here. Let me zoom you out. So this, you know, is going to bend in a nice arc, you know. I, I believe this is going to bend at a point, and it is starting to come apart. So, not 100% successful, um, but that's okay, because I've got it stuck together, and I think I might do some more work on this with a hot iron. Not a not a clothes iron, but like a soldering iron, or I might even 
you know, use my branding iron that I made previously, heat it up and press it into the plastic and maybe try to melt, do two things, you know, melt the pieces together better as well as um, kind of smooth out the surface because this is going to be a giant speed bump for, for the dust and, and chips that I'm going to try to collect and I need to do something about that anyway. So I'm going to give that a shot and see if that'll work out. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so the hot stamp did not work. It still wants to separate after melting together. Um, I was getting a soldering iron ready, ready to go because I was going to just maybe poke through holes, kind of like rivets. But then I decided to see if I could melt this little strip of plastic and it seems to work. So I'm going to try to basically uh, weld this seam with melted plastic. I'm going to go grab um, a respirator though because I don't know what I'm breathing when I burn that stuff. But I'll, I'll bring you guys in and show you what I'm planning on doing. So what do you think? You think that'll hold? I'm gonna let it cool for a while. Come back, flip it over, and do the back side. Sure ain't pretty, that's for sure. <clears throat> okay, I can tell you right now that melting the HDPE to try to use it kind of like a filler rod did not work once you get it past some critical temperature and then when it re solidifies it becomes brittle so this is all brittle now but I think I might have stumbled upon a good method here and I'm going to show you here what I've done it was what I was leaning towards doing before I got the idea to melt the material. And I'm basically, instead of, you know, the, instead of the TIG weld concept where I'm using filler rod to fill in the gap, I'm using more of a spot weld concept here. Uh, I'm using a blunt tip on a soldering iron. And... I'm poking it through all the way. It requires a little bit of pressure. There, I've, I'm all the way through now. And then pulling it out. It's hard to do with one hand. And then I'm actually using the blunt end of this melted filler rod to kind of squeeze the soft plastic back into the hole just so I can maintain my vacuum when this is uh, all hooked up. I'll have to refill these guys still, but that should be easy enough. I just reheat them with the soldering tip and use this, you know, because I'm learning. You know, the I mean, PTFE doesn't stick to anything, and apparently that includes PTFE itself. So, 
So I'm going to finish this and then I think I'm going to come back and do another row along this, this edge of the seam and then flip it over and do another row on the opposite edge of the opposite seam. And I think that would be sturdy enough. I'm going to twist it around and see if I can, if it's going to break under any type of uh, minimal, minimal uh, shearing force, I guess you should say. But a little bummed about this not working, but you know, once you get it burning, it's probably losing whatever properties make it what it is, turning it into something else. So you can see that just comes right out. Well, that definitely did the trick. It's a nice, uh, strong joint now. It's going to allow me to make whatever circular form I'm going to need to make for the cyclone inlet. I am going to take my time now and reinforce this joint with another row of stitches just to make sure it doesn't want to pop loose on me ever. It's going to have um, flanges on the upper and lower portion and so that will help keep it together as well but I just don't want to ever have to do this again so I'm going to add a second row of stitches just to make it nice and strong. Okay, I'm all done and all I'm doing now is I'm using a chisel to um, smooth out what will be the inner surface. I want to try to, you know, you don't, you want the least amount of turbulence as possible inside your cyclone and so all of these ridges and bumps will create that turbulence and so I'm going to slowly shave down all of this and try to make it as smooth as possible. Um, working on PTFE, it's really slippery stuff and I had a nice little close call here on my wrist. It could have been a lot worse than it was. So what I've done, instead of trying to hold it with one hand and chisel with the other like an idiot, I am, I've got it clamped down to the bench now. So it shouldn't move and I'm gonna I've already done a pretty good job on over here but I gotta get this big thick end uh, shave down and it's not going to be perfect um, you know just for the because of the nature of how this was created this seam was created but it should do a pretty good job